for another episode of I, I Got, Got Drink. Drink. Today we have a special guest with us. We sure do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Aaron Moe. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank y'all for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Man. Uh, much obliged. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Y'all been putting in some work, huh? I see y'all. Man, you trying to do like you, man. Trying to <laughs> <laughs> man, listen, before we get started, I just want to say I'm very privileged and honored to be here with you guys. Um, you know, because I see I see the vision as to where you guys are going. And so I'm very, very privileged to be here. So that way, when y'all uh, have that uh, prime time yes. 7 o'clock yes. spot, you know, yes. on Cbs. I'll be able to say I was I was a part of the uh, the foundation, so I'm Definitely. very grateful. Very grateful. Man, we appreciate you. you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Without the guests, I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be here. Anymore. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, no, y'all live anyway, even without guests. So don't do that. See, I try to tell myself my show gonna be good whether people show up or not. You know, that's my mindset. So, you know, even if I gotta talk to myself, but uh, but yeah, definitely though. Uh, thank y'all for having me. Yeah. Welcome, man. Yeah, for sure. So, you know why you came here, right? I definitely do know why I came. Because, I mean, you can't yeah. come if you're just sipping water. Right, all, right? right, you know. Yeah, I, so, let's start off, man. Okay. So, we're going to shock you, bro, because... Show me something, show me something. Because, you know, you know I'm, I'm old like. school. You know what Gonzalez is, Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. I think I've been there once or twice. Man. I think man. I've been to Gonzalez once you know or twice. You know there's a distillery in Gonzalez? I do know. Yeah. Yeah, I do Did know. Have you tried there? I have not. All right, well, look. I have not. Okay. So we're going to start off with this uh, Sugarfield. That's the name that of it. That rice. Yeah. 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 You know, I that coffee liqueur because, you know, they got, they got a few other things. Oh, that's gangster. You know what I'm saying? But so you're trying to get me drunk and give me energy so that was just in yeah. case if I got to fight all night whenever I leave from <laughs> here. <laughs> we're trying to give you some ideas for your morning. Yeah, you definitely. You can drink that in the morning. You okay. Out, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, they're located in Gonzales, you know, my home city. Same here. Gunshot. Shout out. Yeah, you yeah, know we yeah. repping. <laughs> oh, this fire! This coffee. It has. It is 50 proof, 25 percent alcohol volume. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm definitely looking forward to this because you know I got kids. I got, I got black kids, African American kids, <laughs> they and that, cool. and no, that means literally everything you come home with, they want some of it. They want mm -hmm. taste it. I want taste it. Give me some of that. I got something for y'all now. <laughs> got something for y'all kids if y'all watching this. I got something for y'all. <laughs> For sure. They have them wired up, man. <laughs> uh huh. So you know, it's customary. I'm sure you know about this custom. Yes. Brand new bottle, unsealed. I mean sealed. That's yes, sir. Awesome. Got to pass that around, man, so we all could. Yes, sir. That's like a cheers. Yes, sir. To the opening of the vessel that we're gonna send to sea. <laughs> I'm passing that thing like a Lombardi trophy. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm already knowing this. So what do you typically drink? Me? Yeah. Well, don't laugh at me when I say this, but I'm a thug passion kind of guy. Like I'm still, I'm still, I'm still in that Alize Hennessy era. Okay. That's a lot of stuff that I drink, but really, I could, I drink Hennessy with anything, any uh, day of the so week, any time like, of the day. Um, the Incredible Hulk then. Uh, the Hennessy Hypnotic. Yeah. I did, but I just think that I think that I think it was so much of a fad. So many people inflated oh, mm -hmm. the ideal of it. I wasn't really a fan of the hypnotic, but again, I drank Hennessy with anything, you yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. anything but milk, you know, because Hennessy goes like with me. anything can happen, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So, Hennessy and lemonade, uh, cream. Yeah, berry. absolutely, for sure. I like Hennessy and Sprite, man. I'm a Hennessy <laughs> man. Every time, every day, I drink Seven that. Up, you know, That's always a go to. It's always a go to. You said Hennessy and Sprite? Hennessy yeah, and absolutely. Sprite. You never had that? Nah. Oh, hey, honestly, depravity. You should be so coke, deprived. Man. It is. I'm going to have to try it. It definitely is. So let me pass this shot down to man. So what about you? What's your favorite? What's your go-to drink? I actually love Hennessy. Really? Okay. Hennessy and lemonade. Raspberry lemonade. Raspberry, raspberry lemonade. lemonade. Okay. Or strawberry. Any lemonade. Homemade, homemade lemonade? It could be any kind of lemonade. Now listen, um, I'm on this new thing. It's a, it's a, it's a Red Bull watermelon. I drink that with Hennessy. Oh, yeah, it's That's the best thing ever. It's like Hennessy the best thing since sliced bread. I just try it's, to stay away from the Red Bull mixed with liquor. I feel like it's too much going on. Too much. You want to fight? You want to fight? Something. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be up. <laughs> uh, uh, What's coffee gonna do? I'll go to sleep. <clears throat> so again, we got the Sugarfield Spirits coffee. Liqueur. Damn, it smell like you can smell the coffee oh, in it too, yeah, bro. Man. That's amazing. It, wow. It that's, like amazing. that's amazing. That's amazing. Kahlua. Have y'all mm. had that? I have. That I have. Like that? This fancy too. I don't know what the price point is on it, but it smells like it's fancy. It's not expensive. It's not, it's not horrible. It, it's well, like I mean, 
Yeah, you rich though, so I mean, expensive oh, to wow. you. I ain't mean to put your business on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so not that bad for you is different, but you know, I gotta. I just know how to spend my money better than y'all. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> so we gonna do a cheers, man. Okay. Uh, I know you got this phrase, man. What you what you cheers to, bro? To, uh, to uh, to? 20, 20 minutes later, you know, I, we always later. say, uh, I'm pulling for you, I'm praying for you. It hurts so bad because you're getting so close. No guts, no glory. No guts, no glory. No guts, no glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. All right. Well, All right there you go. Take this shot. That's cheers. right. Let's do it. That's so deceptive. I'm telling you. It's so, it's so it is. It's so deceptive. Yeah, it's so you can feel the liquor when it goes down, but initially you get that that whole coffee vibe. I almost want to drink some warm to really see what it's fitting for. I almost want to drink some. I think like a chocolate undertone. You like that? Something, yeah. Yeah. Like this, this would be good in like some type of martini or something. This would be good in the morning time by itself. That's fire, though. Wake they wake you up in the morning. Yeah, definitely. They they definitely <laughs> own something. The people gonna run me clean out mm -hmm. that plant. You uncle boy, you don't get out of here. Yeah, that's really good though. Very right. impressive. I got a question for you, man. So I know you you experienced <laughs> drinking and stuff before, but have you ever had too much, man? What? Mm. Oh, too you got any stories? I do. Yes. That you can tell us for sure. Absolutely. So others could learn. Okay. Not to do that shit. <laughs> okay. You know, now, take their time. I don't know if the story is a uh, a story of caution, uh, but it's a very advantageous story, right? Okay. Yeah. So my mother used to work uh, at the Greaser Spoon. The Greaser Spoon is in Gosma. It used to be it's an old club. All of the old heads that's watching, not the young cats, not the young bucks, but all the old heads, they threw their hands up like, boy, what do you know about the Greaser Spoon? Oh, man, I can yeah. see them right now. So one day I get up. I'm about six years old. I remember very vividly. I go in the refrigerator. We stand right off of Highway 73. I go in the refrigerator. It's the wee hours of the morning. Yeah. I go into the refrigerator. There's two pictures. One picture is filled with, um, <laughs> it was uh, purple Kool-Aid. Yeah. And the other one was filled with blue Kool-Aid. Mm. So I'm like, Kool -Aid. my mom at work. I'm at home. I'm going with my move. So yeah. I literally, and this is a true story. I'm not making this up for the show. Yeah. <laughs> I drink the blue Kool-Aid halfway halfway down this is like a this is like a three gallon kool-aid pitcher like i'm i'm thirsty yeah. you know what i mean really kool-aid it was mixing something man wait till wait till i get to the end of it you're gonna find out because i didn't know but ever since then you know i i definitely changed my life god spat me that day so i drunk i drunk a little bit out of the purple i was like man that yeah. purple kind of strong so probably about 30 <laughs> minutes later my mama come home they had to take me to the hospital oh my god i had just i almost had alcohol poison it was mad dog 2020. no oh my god it was mad dog 2020. it literally almost killed me you was passed out no i didn't pass out i was throwing up my you know my young life um <laughs> but it, it because i drunk a whole lot you drunk it fast too yeah, right yeah so to this very day, my mother is deceased, I'm 35 now, and I'm still for the life of me trying to figure out how the hell she got all of that Mad Dog 2020 in them, in them, in them pictures, you know? She must, I don't know if she stole it from the club or, you know, how big the bottles used to be back then. Oh. But let me tell you, that was the first time I called Earl. That was the first time I, I realized that uh, drink responsibly is a real thing, you know, because we want to drink, yeah. want to have fun. Yeah. But if you don't yeah. know what you're doing, if you do it wrong, it could definitely be detrimental to your health. Yeah. Oh, I bet yeah. you're really good at labeling things now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. At this point, huh? Yeah, definitely. For sure. And guess what? We got a new label. Okay. So, uh... Now I'm actually gonna, I'm taking this with you, man, to the head. Okay. I don't know what this is. You know, I like to buy stuff. I don't know. I don't want them to know what it is. But I don't know how this is gonna turn up. <laughs> so this is something that you ain't never. It's called blue coat. Okay. I don't know if this is a. Uh, you know. I wonder what the reference is. Where it come from? Blue you know, coat. blue coat. Yeah. In fact, yeah. Let sure. me read the back. Did you know Americans. It's all about Americans. Okay. Have long established their own standards of excellence and independence. Blue Coat soldiers for mm. free thinking revolutionaries who boldly fought for freedom. Embracing the spirit. Blue Coat. Elder Flower Gen expression honors those proud and courageous souls. So we drinking moonshine. We drinking <laughs> shit. It's a elderberry. Yeah. Gin infused with elderberry. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry, not elderberry. Elder, elder flower. 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 American so, dry gin. Okay. It's a brand new bottle. What's the price one? Because it look expensive. Uh, it look fancy. I almost don't want to drink it. I want to. I think I did good. It was about 25 Okay. Uh, I actually got this one last night. I'm almost sure it was about 25 Okay. 
So, you know, brand new bottle, customary. Beautiful style. presentation. That's good. See, the reason why I like, look like, the reason why I'm a fan of, of you guys' uh, show uh, is because you guys are, are not afraid to try new things, and that's so important. You know what I mean? Like, and especially for me being a big old Hennessy fan, yeah. every single time I go to the store, I'm gonna get Hennessy. So exactly. I appreciate y'all <laughs> opening up my, you know, my palate and allowing me to be a part of this. But uh, <laughs> I'm a Hennessy guy every single day of the week. Man, and I'm here for people like that. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's almost like y'all got me in recovery today, huh? <laughs> trying to get people Hennessy to jump recovery. Out of their, jump out of their skin, man. Yeah, get out your comfort zone. Cause that's when you find out that you can do more stuff. Yeah, yeah. You don't ever jump across that ditch. You won't know that's where they got all the, the sweet candies and stuff. Yeah, like for sure. Shout out to the candy lady on the other side of the ditch with all the sweet candies. Yep. We exactly. appreciate you. Exactly. So I got tracks. What's your what's your what's your favorite go-to drink? Man, I honestly don't have a favorite. Really? Thank you. Uh, no problem. Thank you. Not type wise, I guess you could say. Okay. I'm more. Shit, man, I don't know, right? It's just a feel. Anything. You know? <laughs> Anything that that's gonna taste good. Like, I, I stick to more, I don't do sweet drinks. Okay. So, I drink straight. You don't feel like they make you, you feel like they take away from your, your masculinity, your macho -ness. Nah, not that at all, man. Because, I mean, before that, I'd be the one drinking the, the mm, sweet drinks. I got you. Just a straight shooter. You I like got straight you. Straight shots. I like straight shots. So, what's your favorite, what's your non, what's your least favorite sweet drink? Oh, yeah. Lemon Splash. Gin, uh, that's good. Uh, uh, bumpy face. Bump. Oh, never oh, Wait, oh. I've never heard of that's that. That's good. That's good. Oh yeah, I got a story. That's man. good. <laughs> so bumpy face. What is that? Bumpy face is uh, lemon splash. Fucking Seagram's gin. Seagram's. Seagram's yeah. gin. Yeah. You, you do. I'm, I'm Seagram's so gin. Like 19 years old. Man. Tango Ray. Ball, man. Yeah. I know, see, I didn't know about Tangeray, man. What? I'll, I'll drink Tangeray now. Okay. Because it's better than Seagram's. Okay. You know, and I think anything I started with, man, I don't touch that. I would never touch Taka again. Don't <laughs> not give me no Taka. <laughs> don't even give me no answer down. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, I can't do it. And, <laughs> and, and, is actually good. I can't do it. I was just going to say, it's, it's wine or liquor. I cannot do it. I will not. I, I go home sober first. Up. I'm not drinking it. You know? And if I do drink it, I will not allow nobody to see me drinking it. I'm just sorry. For real. I'm not. It's a mix-in type. You could get a whole bottle. Oh. This size right here, <laughs> this is uh, 750 <laughs> liters. You could get a whole one of these of Amsterdam for like three dollars and fifty cents. Exactly. Any liquor store, there's no way I'm drinking it. I can't do it. And it better not come in a plastic bottle. I can't do it. <laughs> so, uh, what's your least favorite drink? Least favorite. Straight shots, anything straight. Really? Okay. All right. Uh, that's okay. That's. I'm a sweet drinker. Like if it's sweet, I'll take it. But like straight liquor, you can give me anything straight, I probably will. Shy away from sip it. Sip it. Yeah. And shy away, mix yeah. it with some type of juice. Yeah. Something. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let's take a smell of this. It smells like think? gasoline. It it's sweet, terrible. a sweet gasoline. Sweet gasoline. A sweet gasoline. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I'm going to start my car up immediately as soon as I it leave. It looks like gas, though, bro. It like, does. Ain't that what gas looks like? Like, like a food? lemonade type of glass. Yeah. You would think it so would I'll... smell good with the flower. It smells flowery. Okay. Mm. It smells the flower. So we're going to do cheers to now, man. Let's, let's cheers oh, to Lord. next season three. Season three. Season three. I got drink. I'll take it. Season three. Cheers. 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 Ooh. This is a little different than gin. I actually like it. I'm gonna sit up a little bit high. I don't want to go down because it kind of tastes like lemony. So Y'all take the. It's lemon? strong. It's it's that it's a jumper cable. It definitely. Oh, is. now look. The, let me see. The percentage is normally high on uh, gin. On gin. Okay. It's 47. That's pretty strong. 94. That's strong. strong. It, it came out kicking. It came out kicking <laughs> way stronger than the uh, than the uh, than the rice. Uh, God, but it's good though. It's good. It's good. I can see how we have a fun night of partying after we drink enough of that. Oh yeah. And you probably you probably don't need a whole lot of it really to you know get you to wherever it is you going. Yeah. Uh, you know. That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know that gin is vodka first? Really? Gin is actually a flavored. Vodka. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah. I never knew that. That's good. Yeah, See, not only do you know how to find the best <laughs> drinks, but you're also very well educated and very well versed on the making of the alcohol and the evolution of alcohol. And you can only get that from I Got, I got drinks. drinks. That's right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. 
So tell me. I ain't just drinking it. Right, yeah, yeah. You we know? do this professional. This ain't no, you didn't just get no anybody off the street to come in here and do this. <laughs> I ain't new to this. <laughs> I'm true to this. <laughs> yeah. So what was the, uh, what was, what's the inspiration behind uh, I Got Drinks? I mean, I know I got tracks and, you yeah. know, I know that you guys have so many things going on. Antidote, antidote.com. You guys are giving platforms yeah. to other artists, uh, be it local, aspiring artists. So you guys are really paving the way for the next generation of entertainers mm -hmm. to come forward, right? Yeah. But this is so different and it's so original. Nobody is doing this. So, you know, what's the inspiration behind I Got Drinks? Man, I actually always was the person that always brought some new weird drink to, really? the, to the party. Really? Wow. Actually, <laughs> Wow. Okay. Hey, I okay. even, even my test. You, me and him test together. Shout out to Monster Inc. <laughs> Stepped in blue. You know how we do it. Wow, that's 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 amazing, Look, bro. Let me tell you, bro. He started off, bro. Uh, Pinnacle. You ever heard of Pinnacle Vodka? No. I've heard of that. No. They got a billion flavors. Really? Vanilla. Oh man, we we just go through all of them. Oh wow. Yeah. They're birthday cake. They have one that tastes like Swedish fish. Uh, oh man. I think gummy worms. Uh, they just had weird flavors, and I was like. We're gonna go through all of these. Yeah, things. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. One at a time. One keep, at a time. keep them coming. Keep them coming. And that's that's really where it started at. Man, that's amazing, bro. And I thought about it. I said, man, I'm still doing the same shit. Like I got a catalog. I keep every bottle I never had before. Really? Yeah. That's at the beautiful. House, so I can remember what I had just because the one was like, we're gonna try this on the show next. Oh, yeah. I got a grade going. Oh, so wow. Massive. Oh, wow. Listen, look, and I still be finding new shit, so, so I start off with the new. So what do you do with the alcohol when you, when you, when after a show? I mean, I know sometimes it'll come back up in rotation, but it in the meantime, it rotation. never comes back in rotation. I'm finishing the bottle at home. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll That's it. big dog status right there. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, that's big dog status. I told I you, I told y'all who had the money. Y'all looking at me <laughs> for them $20 million, but I just told you this man, he never going to put the same alcohol up twice. Man, poor people ain't going to do that. Listen, what he telling y'all? What y'all don't know is I'm investing in myself. <laughs> Invest in yes, sir. Invest in yes, stuff. sir. Invest in myself. Yes, sir. I definitely <laughs> went and bought some of the vodka that we, or any of the liquors that we bought on the show. Like, I definitely went and bought it and made the drinks at home. That's what's good. Up. Good. See? Like, it's introducing me to new things. Well, as well, the good thing about it is, much sooner than later, I'm just believing that you guys are going to get a sponsorship from a huge alcohol company. Speaking uh, of and they will then produce all of the different alcohol for you guys. Yes. And. It's just gonna open up the platform. You guys have a plethora of alcohol to your leisure, yeah. and so many other big stars like myself will come through and bless, you know, um, the, the podcast Shh, and so uh, the TV show. So uh, it's definitely a beautiful thing. Man. Take that. Well, you have some wonderful, beautiful words. Bro. Well, you know, I'm a gangster. You know, I, I gotta do that every now and then. You know what I mean? You know, I, don't, I can't sound, you know, tough all the time. You know, I gotta tap into it. I got a little education about myself, but. Uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's definitely a beautiful, and it seemed like I'm taking over y'all show because I got a show, so I don't want to, you know. I so, seen some of y'all guests. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna say. It. I'm gonna say it because I'm grown. Y'all shouldn't have came if y'all ain't want to participate. Y'all should have just stayed at home. Y'all laid all back. They got a lot of money going into this production. <laughs> Lights, cameras, cameramen, production team. When you come to I Got Drink, make sure that you are enthusiastic Ready and that you are participating yes. in the program, yes. ladies and gentlemen. And the word has been spoken. <laughs> Nah, but it's, but it's been all fun though. It's been all fun though. I, I yeah. do, I, I, I do appreciate all of the uh, other uh, previous guests that you guys have had. It's been nothing but. You know, we're learning and growing. So yeah, for sure. <laughs> we all gonna get there. We gonna grow. We gonna for sure, for sure. Got another bottle for you, man. Let's go. Let's so, go. Timberland. Okay. I'm that red pepper. Come on, Tim. Keep it hot and spicy. Do you like spicy stuff? I do. I'm from South Louisiana. Do you like if it's hot, I'll eat it. Jalapenos. Love it. Habanero peppers. I don't know about the habanero, <laughs> but I mean, you had me with the jalapenos. Love it. 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 Love to drink it or to eat it. I just, I don't have it. Oh, man, we're gonna have to get it for a show. I tell you what though, The Rock has a really good, uh, uh, uh Terra See, I'm already on. There you go, a very, very good to eat. Rock, if you see this, make sure you sponsor my dude. I'm telling you, listen, he, you watching the video, I didn't say it, he said it, I just brought it up. Don't miss out on the opportunity to reach us down here in the South Rock. I got a plan you know, for all the sponsors, definitely, definitely. I just want to let you know. There you go, there you, you go. Hit me up in the inbox. Well, Somewhere we're about to try <laughs> the Libre Spirits Red Pepper Liqueur made with 100% agave silver tequila. Okay. Made in Mexico. Make 35% alcohol, 70 proof. Se oh, 70 proof. 
We, I'm definitely going to end up fighting somebody. Five, I know seven. it. I'm going straight to jail when I leave home. Take your time. Look, we want you to drink some water. Y'all got a little chain on it. That's so fire. I wonder how reliable is this? I'm sure, oh, this reliable. that's a so real screw. <laughs> My G, this a, this a, I'm a carpenter. This is a real screw right here. I can look at this and tell. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. Libre. Wow. I told you before, I was burning mm. up. I, I won't do common drinks, man. That's good. That's I good. Can't do common that's drinks. what make you. That's what keep you ahead of the curve, yeah. though. I'm serious. That's amazing. You really, you you just taught me a thing or two that I can't go back to just Hennessy once I leave from here. I give mm. you my word, I won't. You you didn't open up the question. Smell good. My idea. So how about you tell us a story about something you did while you were intoxicated that you wouldn't normally do when you were sober? Uh let me see. Um. A, a uh, an embarrassing story, a wild story, or a crazy like story. Here, like wild and crazy. Wild and crazy. <laughs> All right, so we go to uh, we go to a Halloween party, and I had just got a new firearm. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it was a rifle. New firearm. Um, what is a firearm, sir? Uh, you know how when you, when you, yeah, when you get you a, a lighter and you hold it up and make you a strong arm like this, that's that's your fire arm. So I go to this party. I got my wife with me. Keisha, she really doesn't like going places yeah. with me because I'm a people person and I wanna, I wanna hug everybody. I wanna yeah. laugh. I wanna be a part of everything that's going. On. And I'm loud. I'm naturally loud. I don't yeah. try to be, but I just am. Right? It's in my blood. And so um, I go to this party. I got this new firearm. And I promise you, we must have been drinking white liquor all night long. I want to say it probably was, uh, man, this, this smells. It smells good. Yeah, it does. Tequila. Um, tequila either Patron. And I got so drunk, I'm standing on the top of my car. It was a Halloween, <laughs> it was a Halloween party. I'm standing on the top what of my- What was your costume? <laughs> a nacho chili cheese pepper. Huh? I, I got Bruh. a song, nacho chili cheese pepper. Listen, <laughs> perfect, per perfect segue for it. So I got the cheese pepper suit on. I'm yeah. drunk. I'm so drunk. We're getting ready to go walk to go. Uh, we're going trick or treating. I done got so drunk. I'm trying to let the hundreds of people who's out there know that I got a new gun. I'm standing on the hood. I'm like, look at my gun. Look at my gun. So in my house now, there's a phrase. Whenever you get loaded, you get drunk. You yeah. start talking loud. My wife always come from the back and be like, oh, there he go. Look at my gun. He look at my gun. And I didn't mean no harm. I just was like, look at my gun. I wanted, I felt like I had, it was a chopper with the knife on front. So I felt like, you know, we had always been hearing about it. You know, this this was soldier, this before Soldier Slim got killed or whatever. And so. I had a chopper with the knife on front. I just wanted everybody to look yeah. at my gun. So boom, put the gun up. We walking. We like two miles out from my car. I got my chili pepper suit on. Mm. I've been going so hard all night. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I'm like, yo, I got to pee, right? <laughs> but we, 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 we in a predominantly white neighborhood. So I'm like, yeah. I can't go around nobody's house to use the bathroom. Yeah. I'm end up either getting shot I can't, or, or going to jail, one or the other. Yeah. I got the chili pepper suit on and I got black pants on. I told my wife, I was like, listen, either you call me an Uber and that Uber get here within 10 seconds, I ain't gonna make it. I ain't make it, so I pissed on myself. But listen, oh. she will not let me down. And guess what? And I'm, oh. guess what? You know what I did? You think I went home? No, I was drunk. I finished trick or treat. Yeah, turn up. I'm already, I'm already pissing. What's the worst thing gonna happen to me? I got, I got, I'm married, so I ain't worried about girls being like, hey, get away from me. You stuck with me. And let me tell you, that has been 10 years and my wife will not allow me to live that down or forget that. I so, think I oh my That's God, funny. drink responsibly. Hey, and, and think about if you're going to have to go to the bathroom or not. We're going to take a shot today. Cheers. 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 Drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Never, ever. Responsibly. Use the bathroom before you go walking. <laughs> this is sweet Ooh. and spicy. It's sweet going in. Ugh. It has oh, a very, man. it tastes like it got ginger in it, like a very yeah. ginger, it's the aftertaste. It, ta it tastes like a fireball, a fireball it's candy. burning your tongue. This night, nice. what well, the good news about this alcohol is, you don't have to worry about children consuming it because oh. once they taste it, oh. they're gonna realize that they messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, sir. No. That would be good in like, what do you call this? Those a rum tomato cake drinks? Something? No. Oh, oh, Bloody uh, Mary? Bloody Mary mm. or something. Well, tequila? That's mm. Kind of. It's going to use a vodka in it. I don't see. I don't drink it. I don't know. I, either vodka or tequila. For real? I don't want other. But not gin for sure. I know it's not gin. Yeah. But I think this right here, though, 
we might need to, you know, put together. You might need to put together a Bloody Mary and just put some of that in it because I think that'd be a brilliant idea. Yeah. I don't even drink it, but I'll drink it for the show. I don't drink it either. Do you drink it? Do I drink Bloody Mary? Yeah. yeah. No. Not really. <laughs> I'm not a fan of tomato juice. Mm. All right. I tried it, and that's what it gives me. Like that, from me just trying it that time, like that gives me yeah, Bloody Mary okay. type Okay. Okay. So the next time I come on the show, on the show. I'm going to bring Bloody Marys for us, okay? Oh, okay? There you go. And we can all try it together for the first time. Cause <laughs> I do. Do you I don't, put, like, the bacon and the celery? What they be putting I don't there? drink Bloody Mary. I don't eat <laughs> spaghetti. I don't eat nothing with red sauce. I'm just saying, you know, so it'll be a first we'll time for me. Together. Yeah, we'll try it together for sure. We'll break, <laughs> we, we will break our Bloody Mary virginity together as okay. a team, you know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty dope. Right? Yes, sir. Oh, that's nice, though. I think... This is nice. They all almost they're a different entity. They have a they have different tastes, they have different textures. Yep. And all of them make me want to do different things. Seriously. Yep. Hey, bro. Yeah, that's dope. That's how I'm coming, man. That's dope. That's how we come. That's right. Believe that. So I got she drinks. She about to come right now. I know. She about to put it together for us. While I'm doing oh, this. Oh my goodness. What you doing that, man? Tell us about your <laughs> podcast. What what is, what is called? So, what is um, my podcast is Aaron Moses Beat the Sun Up. Uh, the podcast is designed to give a platform for entrepreneurs, uh, uh, leaders of the uh, entrepreneurial world to basically give advice to the next generation that's uh, coming. And I wanted to be able to create a platform that wasn't um, muzzled by, you know, opinions and different things like that. I just like to get people who really get to the nitty gritty side of the business because a lot of people celebrate your success, but people don't see, yeah, don't oh, that. I had to get a loan oh, to get oh, this oh, equipment. Oh. I lost yeah. my apartment. My car got repossessed. And so I like to dig deep down into that aspect of being a business owner to really just let the next generation know that it doesn't matter what you go through as long as you stick to it, yep. have your plan, yep. believe in God, yep. believe in God, and literally be willing to work your ass off, you can accomplish and become anything that you choose to in this world. And so that's what uh, Beat the Sun Up podcast is about. And also, you know, we have this tradition. We always want to know um, what time did you get up in the morning because uh, research shows that all successful people, they don't sleep in. They get up early in the morning. It gives you a competitive edge. Um, the early bird gets the worm, you know. I like to beat the, uh, the worm. You like to beat the worm. That's like right. Absolutely. I Absolutely. Absolutely. Grab all the worms. For sure. For the birds when they get there. Yeah. And man, listen, I appreciate <laughs> you coming on the show on the New Year's Eve show. That was the first time that I had more than uh, one guest at a time. And let me tell you, that show has realistically changed my life. It has yeah. changed the diversity yeah. and the dynamics of my show because I've been getting so much love and so many reviews and so many people who want to be a part of the show after that. And not only that, but I learned a lot about myself from that show conversing with you guys yeah. um, that normally I wouldn't because a lot of the guests I'm interviewing just them but you guys y'all interviewed me as well and so it forced me to kind of peel mm -hmm. back some of the layers of my own self yeah. and challenge myself to become a better Aaron so yeah. I appreciate you my G yeah. yes sir beat Bruh. the sun up that's right beat that sun, beat up. That sun up baby Man. what time what time do you get up in the morning me about that. yeah all right so listen I'm first of all I'm high strung let me just say it I'm high strung okay. And uh, I burn the midnight oil. Okay. So typically, I don't go to sleep until, you know, 11, 12, 30-ish. Yeah. But I get up clockwork at 4 o'clock every morning. Damn. I never, and I never miss yeah. it. I get up. at 4.30? No, 4 o'clock. I get up at 4 o'clock every morning. I, I get up at 4 o'clock. And, and listen, the first thing I do is I always devote an hour to prayer. Yeah. So I get up at 4. I'll pray until now. I'm not saying I just get up with all this energy and I'm just excited. I get up Fight. at four, yeah. I roll over <laughs> out of my bed, I get on my knees, and I'll pray typically about 45 minutes to an hour, and then I begin to start strategizing my day, yeah. helping my kids get ready, yeah. helping my wife, you know, because the, 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 the black woman doesn't get enough credit because, you know, the men, we provide things, but yeah. the black woman is really the glue that keeps the family together. So what I try yes, to do is, is I try I to that. I try to get up before look shout out to the black woman. I try to get up before my wife so I can help her with the kids, get the kids stuff ready for school, you know. Yes. So that way when she get up, she doesn't have to do everything that she would normally do. 
And then from then on, I could just do what I want to do. And I do that strategically to help myself because when I'm grinding and when I'm working, if I'm recording music, yeah. for, uh, if it's for my other two businesses that I have, yeah. I don't have time for her to constantly be calling my phone all day long because I didn't give her the best shot at having the most success in that particular day. So that's, that's like. why I get up at four. That's a man for you right there, y'all. Y'all hear that? Yes, sir. Y'all, so I just mixed up this really good drink. Okay. Y'all ready to try it? I'm looking forward to it. So it's actually going to be Trader Vic's macadamia nut. And I mix it with the cream of coconut and okay. a little bit of pineapple juice. Okay. Y'all can get this recipe online. Okay. Um, but it's called a macadamia nut colada. Colada, okay. So okay. you kind of get a little mixed up all those flavors. So we're gonna pass that on. So is this like a is is this a uh, an island Caribbean drink? Like it is that is, is that like what? A okay. Hawaiian drink. Like oh man, that smells good. Hawaiian nuts. <laughs> That smell really good. Oh, man, what is that? Pie? It smells sweet. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Like, yeah, that's that birthday cake. You know, the you know, Bluebell got that. Blue, oh, Bluebell, that's blue, that smell like I'm telling you that that On birthday cake that Bluebell got. Oh, it's that it's better when it's like in a blender. Okay. We're having it on the rocks. Chill. Okay. So. Fire. We'll take that. Y'all ready to give it a try? Yeah, okay, yeah, for to, sure. Uh, we're gonna cheers to. Cheers to more now. money in Amen. 2021, no COVID. Amen. <laughs> Success. Yes. Everything. Yes. Love, life, everything. Absolutely. Love it. Cheers. 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 Oh, man, that's really delicious. Jesus, that's very delicious. That's refreshing. Very delicious. Very fun tasting. Tastes like mm. fun. It definitely it would be good like, like a lot of fun. in a blender, like on a slush. The thing is, though, um, depending on the uh, the alcohol content, it could be very deceptive because it does not taste like it's alcohol. Oh, I, it doesn't yeah. have an alcoholic yeah. kickback to it at I all. No alcohol. I ain't gonna lie. None at all. Big jug of that, man. And I'm a huge pineapple. I mean, a uh, 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 pina colada. I I won't drink a daiquiri if it doesn't have pina colada in it, like yeah. dead ass. And that's deceptive because that does not taste like it's alcohol at all. I love drinks that sneak up on you, though. Yeah. That's, that's me. That's almost like eating a gummy, but, you know, I you know, <laughs> I guess we'll say that for I got smoke, I got green or something. But, you know. Maybe in the future, man. You know. No it's going to be legalized. Franchise. Yeah, it's going to be legalized. It's going to be legalized. <laughs> I got gummies, you know. But uh, it's really good, though. It's very, uh, it's very, uh, it's very Caribbean. Refreshing. Uh, yeah. I don't even think I'm in South Louisiana right now. That's what's up, man. It's cold outside, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's swampy outside, too. Yep. Mm, but you're at the beach right now. You got sand on the LSU beach. Yeah, and it, right it, and it doesn't have like a, it's not sweet to make you like, you know, it's not like a a, a, a feminine sweet. What, what you mean when you say a feminine sweet, Aaron? Well, um, it doesn't have like that whole, uh, that watermelon, what's that watermelon drink that, you know, they drink out of the can, that watermelon thing? Uh, like men ain't really gonna just drink that. It's a smeared all watermelon thing. Oh, you know, man, that thing that just blew up. Oh, the wine cooler. Yeah, like, like it, yeah, not. exactly. It's, it's not that, it ain't that. It ain't sweet <laughs> like that, you know. You know, it's, what, what, imagine you in the club with somebody and they drinking a smear and all, trying to be hard, trying to fight you. You're like, really? Come on, don't do that. No alcohol in it. You know, really? Oh. You serious right now? It does. It's not that kind of sweet, but it does have a very uh, uh, sweet, distinctive, a natural sweet to yeah. it, like a yeah. natural brown sugar, because yeah. brown sugar tastes different than yeah. uh, processed white sugar. Yeah. You know. That's so. what's up. Definitely. Man. Can you tell everybody where you where we can follow you? Check out your show. Um, uh, everything you want to know. Yeah. So everything is uh, at the Aaron Moses. T H E A A R O N M O S E S. Uh, everything is there. Um, we have the podcast, Beat the Sun Up podcast. Um, we have a uh, landscaping company. I'm gonna plug that too because you can't beat us. Can't beat us. <laughs> we got the landscaping company. We got the home improvement. We have the uh, nonprofit. We everyone, everything, everything is hope. Everything is all inspirational. So, uh, reach out to us. We do everything basically. So I appreciate that. Sounds that. like everything. Yeah, for sure. Man, we definitely appreciate you. Thank y'all for having me here, man. Thank you. For, so, um, I'm gonna get a commitment from you live on uh, camera. Okay. You, uh, you, I'm gonna get you in for that, for that, for that film because I need to get you in for a show. I need to get you in for your own episode of yeah, the show. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna show okay, up and bet. do that, man. For sure, I appreciate yeah, I that. Too. Yes, sir, absolutely, okay. absolutely. What time did you get up in the morning? Oh, 
I get up at like 6.30. 6.30. Okay, yeah. all right. We'll get in the 6 o'clock. 6. In the, in the 6 o'clock club, you know. 6. six <laughs> yeah, we'll get, we'll get you. The 6 o'clock club is 6 and uh, below. So, yeah. we'll get you in the 6 o'clock club. Oh, yeah. Lord. Here yet. I probably do like late. Lord. I go to sleep about 12. Yeah. I get up at like 6. But I get up in, in between. In, yeah, yeah, for sure. Try to fight and go back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. For sure. But thank y'all for having me, man. Listen. Nothing but blessings and success to you guys. Thank May God you. continue to bless you, bless your franchise, bless your ideas, bless your team around you. Yes. So that way the platform continues to grow. That way the finances be already provided to you guys. Yes. And that way all of the stars be ready for your phone call when you ask them to come in and they'll say yes to you. So I take Man. that. I take that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All that. For sure. Many blessings. Blessings to you too, sir. Yes, sir. I receive it. Thank you, my G. Well, we really appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out I Got Drink on Roku, YouTube. Fire TV. Fire TV, Apple TV, yeah. everything. Yep. Y'all can follow the host as well, XOXO underscore URS Truly. And me, I got tracks at I-G-O-T-T-R-A-K-Z. And make sure you follow our guests as well. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.